Good morning. I know many of you are still at home and and trying to stay away from this pandemic. And so actually may all of us be home this morning. I'm recording this on Friday and I know there's this this hurricane that's coming our way. And, you know, I'm not sure if it kept us in or not, but that's okay. And that's the reason I've actually chosen the text I have for this morning for the Lord's Supper. It comes from Mark chapter four. And it's one of the great, amazing texts of the Bible, the great narrative of Jesus. And it says in chapter 4, verse 35, On that day when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took with him them in the boat, just as he was. And the other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and they said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and he rebuked the wind and he said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear, and they said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? This is just one of these amazing accounts. I mean, we think of this storm that's out there. Can you imagine being on a boat, even in a tropical storm, and and just the fear that you would have? And Jesus gets up, and he saves them. He just says, he commands the sea. And the winds to cease. And it was peace. There was, they were afraid because there is only one who could control the chaos. As the Jews were fearful of the wind and the seas. And this goes back to the creation account. Only one could do this. It's it's the creator God. And here Jesus is showing that he is the creator God, and he saves them from this chaos, from this this danger all around. We join together this morning in taking the bread and the cup because Jesus saved us. He saved us from ourselves, He saved us from our sins, from death. And the one who can control all things, the one who created all things, has invited us to his table this morning. That's what we're doing. Jesus comes and he shares with us as we remember the day that he saved us. And now we have peace. Even in the midst of storms, even if those storms were to kill us in life, I have no fear of death because of the very body and, and, and the blood of Christ. Peyton's going to be dealing with Noah and the ark, and we're going to see another who, while there was this terrible storm about and around that God saves him and his family in the storm. We're riding in the storm, but God is with us. Christ is with us. He is in us by his spirit. Let us remember that as we partake together, whether we are in houses all around or in storm shelters or whether some of us are even at the building this morning. But this is a moment that God unites us all in him. Let's pray. Dear Father, we come to you and we thank you so much for your salvation, for your love and your grace. Thank you, Father, for saving us from the chaos that we have brought upon our own lives and and put ourselves in the midst of death. And Father, forgive us when we are in the midst of these storms and, and we're just not even aware or maybe we lack the faith in realizing you're here with us you're in the boat with us you are our salvation 
And so, Father, as we partake of this bread and this blood, this juice, Father, we just pray that we remember your Son and the gift that you have given us in your Son as he comes and he joins us on this day. A time of peace, a time of thankfulness, a time of love to each other. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.